Hello everyone and welcome to another speed build. I am so in love with this house. I spent forever on it. I think it took me around five hours to do this and I really like how it turned out. This is probably one of my favorite builds so far. I just think I've gotten so better since my very first build that I uploaded on this channel, which I think was maybe two months ago. I could be wrong, but I feel so much more comfortable with building and posting it on my channel for everyone to see. I haven't always been really confident in my building skills until recently, so I'm pretty proud of that. As of now, I do not have a name for this um, lot. I'm thinking about calling it some sort of estate because it definitely reminds me of some of the nicer southern estates that we have here in Texas with the wraparound porch and the brick. Anyway, let me start talking about the house now. It is, I think, in the 70,000 something range if I remember. It is definitely a pricey lot, but I did add a lot of decor and landscaping, so you can definitely use the money cheats. Right now, it isn't in the gallery, but I can definitely put it in there for y'all if you want to see it. This lot has two bedrooms, which you can definitely split up into four because they are kind of large. I built this with a single family in mind, meaning that it's, it has one bedroom for maybe the parents, and then it has one toddler bedroom for a toddler girl. But if you choose to download it, you can obviously change that if you want to, to fit your family. So when you think about it, it is 70 plus thousand dollars for a house with only two bedrooms. It sounds crazy and there's only one bathroom too, but <laughs> now that I think about it, this kind of is a failure, but it looks really nice. So I'm proud of that. Let's start with having it look nice and maybe a little bit later I will work on the houses being more functional. So that's pretty much everything I have to say about the house. So that is pretty much it of the boring talk. I guess I can get into, well, I don't think I have any awesome stories to tell you. I've been really busy. School is almost done. I think there's three weeks plus finals. So four weeks left, just four more weeks to go and it's going to be summer. And I'm really excited because I'm taking another Disney World trip. But this time I'm taking it with my boyfriend's family, which I think it's going to be, I think all of us, let's see, maybe eight or eight? No, it can't be eight. Maybe close to 12. I don't want to think about it right now because I'll be pausing for a while trying to think of everybody that's going. But I think it's like 12 of us that are going. And one, I've only been to Disney World once, which was last year. And I went with my boyfriend. And we stayed for two nights. I think it was, yeah, we got there Thursday, stayed that night. Friday, we stayed that night. Okay, no, we stayed three nights and we left on Sunday. So we did all four parks in, in three, well, two and a half days. So that was the only, first time I went to Disney World. This time, we, we were staying at the Grand Floridian, which last time we stayed at um, uh, a budget hotel. I think they're called Value Resorts. So nothing fancy, but we're staying at the Grand Floridian this time and we are going for seven whole days, which is a crap ton. Um, so that's going to be really nice. And thankfully we kind of don't have to stick with the entire family. Like we're not going to do everything together. We're going to go do our own thing and then come back and talk about our day at dinner, which is really nice. So I'm really excited for that trip. I'm still trying to plan things out, especially with my lifestyle change, with my diet that I'm doing. So that's going to be really interesting because last time I went, I just ate whatever I wanted and I gained, I think like two inches in the waist just from those couple days being at Disney World, eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner as, um, because we got the deluxe dining plan. So we had so much to eat. Um, this time I'm going to do better at plating my meals. And so I have to actually go to the website, look at the menu, pick out what I'm going to eat, which is also hard because I have food allergies. And so that makes things difficult as well. But I definitely have a lot of planning to do. At least I don't have to like this time. I don't have to plan, you know, the flights and everything we're going to do every second of the day. Because, you know, last time I only went for two and a half days. So I had to plan everything that I wanted to do because I didn't have a long time frame to do it in. But, you know, and plus we went in September. So now this next time we're going into the summer, which is obviously really busy. But we have seven whole days, so I'm not stressed about it. And plus I've done everything that I wanted to do last time. So at least I can say 
you know, I've been on the Haunted Mansion once doesn't mean I have to go every single time, which I want to because that's like my favorite ride. Um, if you made it this far in the video, by the way, um, comment your favorite ride at Disney World if you have ever been. Um, my favorite is Haunted Mansion and then Seconds. See, I don't know if my second favorite would be Space Mountain. <clears throat> um, Space Mountain or um, Rock and Roller Coaster because I really liked both. And it's funny because my boyfriend is really, I mean, we're both scared of heights. Don't get me wrong. We both hate heights, but I'm, I'm fine if it's a roller coaster because I know I'm going to be safe. It's just a ride. It's going to last like a minute, but he's really scared of them. So it took a long time for me to get him onto the rides and he was like freaking out. He was like having a nervous breakdown. Like he was shaking and he was sweating and he was freaking out. But when we finally got on there and we did the ride, he loved it. Like, we went on Space Mountain like six times. And they were having the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. So we got to stay there until I think 12 o'clock at night. So we kept doing it at night because there was like no lines. So, and then Rock and Roller Coaster, I think we did twice or three times. And he kept wanting to go back and do it again. But I was like, no, we have other things to do. Um, anyway, we just really loved Disney World and we were so excited to go back. And I never travel. Like, my family, we don't go very far. Like, even in my city, there's a lot of places in Houston that I've never been. Or a lot of roads I haven't even taken here. Like, even in, the, like, the small area that I live in. Because we don't get out much. We, like, kind of stick to our routine. We do what we have to do. And we don't really go outside of that too much. But I haven't really gotten to travel uh, much at all. So, actually, my first time on a plane was last year when I went to Disney for the first time which I have anxiety and I'm scared of heights and I have motion sickness. <laughs> so um, that was a challenge in itself, which it turned out fine. I really love flying now and I'm really excited to go back to the airport. I think the airport is so exciting, you know, just because I've only been once. And so it's so exciting to me. But <laughs> when we got on the plane for the first time, my boyfriend, he's always been really excited to see how I act on a plane because he knows I'm hella scared of heights and airplanes because my anxiety just tells me something's going to go wrong. This isn't good. You know, humans are meant to be on the ground, not in the air. So I freak out and I was like holding his hand like really hard and I was like looking down in the seat and like he thought I passed out because I was just like looking down closing my eyes and for a second he like grabbed me. He's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> And he thought, like, I legit passed out. But no, I actually really liked it. So that is good. I found out that I can handle flying. And I really hope to travel more. I'm only 21. And so I already have a ton of, like, trips planned that I want to do in the next 10 years. I know the places I want to go. I really want to go to Rome. I want to go to London. And I really like history. And I like, like, architecture and geology so when I pick places to go, I look at things, you know, more than just food and atmosphere. Like, I want to learn about the history and go to all these museums. I really love museums. And so that's how I kind of, like, pick places I want to travel to. And my boyfriend, he loves the beach, which I am not a fan of. I could go without going to the beach. I hate the sand. I hate the sun. I hate the water. I hate being in a bathing suit. Like, all of that just, like, messes with my anxiety. So I don't like the beach, but he really wants to go to Hawaii, which is fine with me, you know, volcanoes, you have a whole ton of other stuff there that I'm really interested in. I've learned a lot about Hawaii in college, which is weird. I don't think a lot of people learn about Hawaii in college too much, but the courses I've taken, we've actually talked a lot about it in the history and geology and stuff. So I'm interested in going there as well. He actually gets to go in July with his family because his uncle is getting married there and you know I can't just fork out a thousand dollars for a plane ride <laughs> so I sadly do not get to go and it's sad too because I won't be able to see him in a tux we've been together for four years and I have never seen him like in formal wear so I don't know I'm just I think about the tiny things like that the small details so that's kind of sad but anyway I'll, I'll save that for our wedding day. I'll be able to see him in the tux for a first time. If you are going anywhere for the summer that you know of so far, road trips, if you're going on an airplane, if you're like going across the, if you're going across your state to go camping or whatever it is, whatever you're doing, I want to know what it is. So leave that in a comment if you know you're going to travel or do anything fun in the summer. 
my family is also thinking about going to SeaWorlds because, you know, we live in Houston and San Antonio is crap. What is it like a four or five hour drive? I think it's about four hours. Anyway, we're thinking about going to SeaWorld to take my nephew because he he's 20 months right now. So I think he'll be almost two years old when we go. And we think, I mean, he doesn't really talk much yet, so we can't be sure, but we think he likes fish. Like, he really likes watching Ponyo, and there's a few other shows he watches where there is fish, and he seems to really like those ones. So we think it's a good idea to take him to SeaWorld, which, eh, I don't know, like, I've seen the documentary Blackfish, and so, like, every time I think about SeaWorld, that is what I think of, and so... I don't know what to think about it. Like, it it was my idea, too. Like, my mom was like, oh, we can go take him camping. We can go, you know, to the lake and everything. And I thought, you know, no, he's too small for that to be running around. And, you know, with all the fish and all the... I don't know, it's not a very sanitary environment. Not that theme parks aren't, you know, not sanitary either. But for two-year-olds, that's a little much. So I came up with the idea for SeaWorld because I remembered that he likes fish. And we're going this weekend to even get him a fish from, I don't know, whatever pet store we have here um, for him to take care of, which really it's going to be us feeding it and everything. And he just gets to look at it. But yeah, um, so we might go to SeaWorld as well, which again, like I said, we never do anything. You know, we don't go anywhere. We stay home. We work. We go to school. We just do our everyday thing. We don't do vacations. So um, this, this summer might be a lot for us, which is good. I mean, it's good to get out and do things with the kids or the kid. We have one, I have one nephew, so it's important to, you know, do that with kids. And I might even take them to the zoo, which is a lot because I freaking hate the zoo. It gets so hot here and there are no fans and it's just like, you know, sun just beating on you all day, just direct sunlight heating you up all day. And it's ridiculous. So (laughs) I might sacrifice my sanity driving there in traffic and also being hot as frig to take them to see some animals. So um, who knows? Maybe we might go to the zoo, SeaWorld, and then, of course, I get to go to Disney World. So it's a summer. It's a busy summer. Summer of a lot of things. Anyway, I don't know how I started talking about this, but we are 12 minutes into the video now. So I killed some time talking about some things. I guess I can go back to talking about the house now to see how it's coming along. Oh, okay. So we are doing the living room at the moment. And so I want to talk about the kitchen, actually. You already saw me build the kitchen, but I was too busy talking. I actually really like how the kitchen turned out because I used these long cabinets. And honestly, I mean, you know how I said that I'm just starting to build better and learn learn more about building lots and everything because I haven't always been good at it and not saying that I'm good at it or perfect now but I'm learning a lot and so I learned that you could change the shape of the counters which probably everyone but me knew how to do really because I see people in builds do it all the time but I just never had any idea how they did it so I had to look it up and I really love playing with the counters now I had so much fun and I even included the long cabinets like in other parts of the house because I was so excited by them I used them in the bathroom and I used them here in the living room where this little office area is I put them over the desk and I tried to use them in a couple other spaces but I just thought it was too much I'm like I gotta stop using these dang cabinets so um yeah they're, they're still used three times which is a lot but you know um yeah, you can take them out if you if you want to. <laughs> I don't blame you. So you can see me putting these like yellow squares on the ceiling. And those are actually invisible lights, which is a cheat you can do. I forgot how it is. I'd have to look it up again because I've only used it this one time. And it's to show hidden objects. And it just brings a little bit more light to certain areas. Like I wanted to highlight the desk a little bit more and make it look brighter. So I put one in front right there. And I did use a couple in the kitchen just to highlight the cabinets and the fridge area and everything. So moving on to the upstairs, I really had no clue what I wanted to do here. I am honestly not the best at creating bedrooms either. I really love making kitchens and living rooms. So the downstairs is usually what I'm good at. I mean, in my opinion, you might think I suck, but um, I feel more comfortable doing that. In the bedrooms, it's just really hard for me. So in this kind of mauve colored um, room. I just did a bed, a side table, I think a mirror, and was it a dresser or a table? 
I think I put a dresser here and some plants. So that was basically it. Um, I don't really know what else you would put in an adult bedroom. I mean, I'm an adult and I have a lot of books and bookshelves and like random things. I have like so many pop vinyl toys and freaking candles. I don't know. But it's always hard for me to make an adult room in The Sims. I don't know. So they're always very simple and minimalistic. It won't hurt my feelings if you want to change these. If I put this in the gallery and you download it, you have to let me know in the comments if you want to see it in the gallery, just because I'd feel really bad if like I put it in the gallery and nobody looks at it or downloads it. So um, let me know if you want to see it. And um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah. So I won't feel bad if you change anything or change the layout. Seriously, you can do whatever you want with it. But um, I will come back and leave a comment if I do um, put it in the gallery. But right now, it is not. So let me know again. So here I am doing the toddler room. And now that I think of it, I think this is actually my first time decorating a toddler room. Because the only time I've played with toddlers, I usually just download a house and use that. So I was finding all of the um, all the decor and stuff and I was just finding so many new things that I didn't even know was in the game. So this was a lot of fun. I used a lot of pink and I mixed matched some of the colors. And this wallpaper is really cute. It looks like little confetti and sparkles and it's just adorable. I try not to go overboard on the clutter. I just wanted a little bit. And so, yeah, that is my toddler room. And in a minute, we're going to go back downstairs and do the bathroom. There's actually room for one more bathroom upstairs. And I probably should have included that. But I don't know. I liked kind of the open space. And so here is the bathroom, which you will see in a minute that I did use the cabinets again. I really loved them. And so I try to use them wherever I could. And you're probably going to be sick of seeing those cabinets, but I think they look nice and it's different for a bathroom and it filled up a lot of the space too because I made quite a big bathroom because the layout was big and I didn't want too much, um, have to do too much to like the living room to add clutter or anything. So I just made the bathroom bigger and it takes up space. So it works out. All right. So here are these screenshots. You can see the stairs and the kitchen and all that good stuff. You get to see everything that you just saw, but in a, an edited photo to make it look a little bit better. And there you go. That is it for the video. And leave comments to let me know what you thought about this build. I will talk to y'all later. <laughs> <laughs>